All right, hey guys, it's Adrian here from acanatomy.com and uh, I just want to introduce myself to you guys. So basically, I have been working for this past few weeks actually with Next to Education on um, a realistic anatom anatomy, um, animal anatomy course. So if you see this on screen, so this was the final render for the course um that we done so basically like my my background i have been i'm um, teaching anatomy and uh, like human and, uh, and animal anatomy for a few years now so like i i founded this company called it's anatomy like under my name because i have been creating all these models these um complete anatomy models like we had all the body systems and stuff and then also selling them but then if you can't afford to buy them and, and then I just teach them, teach people and also on YouTube. So we decided to do this um, this introduction to animal anatomy in ZBrush um, for beginners. So then if you you were having problems like um, you couldn't find any step by step tutorial or, or you, you try studying all these anatomy books, but then it still doesn't make sense. So this um this will will just boost your your like confidence um to start sculpting r realistic um anatomy models so this was the final render and i just quickly quickly going to show this time lapse i created for you guys so you you can basically like see the the uh, process that we we going to go through like we went through so i just have this video open over here i can probably decrease my screen and then just press play so basically you see you see we, we're starting from uh, z sphere just blocking out the skeleton the proportions are very very crucial as um um if if we don't have these proportions right then then everything won't be anatomically correct obviously we, we're still going to pose this but then to have that foundation is very, very crucial. Uh, again, blocking out a basic skeleton, we we uh, didn't go like too much details and stuff. And then the muscles, um, I tend to um, to focus on um, on the superficial muscles for this um, as artist. Uh, so the, the muscles which will affect the skin, obviously it's gonna be covered in fur and stuff. So most of these won't be visible, but then some of them will be as we pose the character and we bump up the, the, the details like the muscle mass. We kind of exaggerate that as we're still going to zero mesh and then lose some of these details over here. So we using um, zero mesh, very, very quick and dirty way to get just, just a, a decent topology, not like animation ready and stuff, so just for us to be able to pose our character to get that low res and etc and then posing with the the, um, the transpose tool like the old-fashioned way <laughs> just looking at our reference also we use like using spotlight just getting those proportions just making sure that our pose like we don't ruin the the overall proportions and stuff and still maintaining the the muscle flow etc and again, just sculpting these wrinkles, as you see, just like this won't probably be vis be like visible on the final render as it's going to be covered in fur. But then this just trains you. So we we went through all of that, even the the veins and the skin details, um, just using normal ZBrush alphas, as you can see, no external alphas over here, just for us to, um, to get like a full um skin layer on top not just cheating and, and just applying fur with without any details uh, and again just copying the uh, uh sculpting the tree bark this is from a cylinder just a basic cylinder from zbrush and then just adding those um those primary forms those major shapes before like we add those fine details obviously we using reference from the actual tree, the actual tree bark, and the, the textures applying in noise maker. Very, very quick way to uh, to get those um, 
to use those tallable textures and just apply those details like so and then like the the eyeball i used um stager like the zebra stager and then just using spotlight to get some of those surface details and then obviously using radial symmetry to hand sculpt um all the eye details like that just getting everything uh, just looking closely at, at our reference so the eyes have the eyes have to be they have to be um very very realistic because they sell the, the the piece so once we we get those eyes to be realistic and then we, we like start painting so um i'm gonna show you guys a very quick a quick way i i normally do my poly paints very quick and dirty but then uh it's it's very very easy once you you get the hang of it just merging all the 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 uh, reference that we were able to find and then just merging all these colors so you you can basically get like a very quick way to um very quick color paint on um for our tiger so i'm going to show you my that technique so basically this um this cause it's me just in, just um introducing you guys to the quickest way to that you can sculpt realistic animals and obviously not ignoring the uh, anatomy because that's very very crucial and again in xgen i'm going to show you guys a very quick way to um to groom those fur um just using a few number of guides to just controlling their flow and then obviously once we're done i'm going to set up the render we are going to be using hdris on that just setting up realistic renders as you can see going through that exhaust and then after that we we're going to go through photoshop and I, i'm just going to show you guys how to to edit your final renders just using camera raw filter that that tool it's there's a lot of um, control that you guys can get out of that so we're going to be using that for our final render and um, compositing everything in um, Photoshop everything will be um, very very slow so I'm gonna be moving very very slow with you guys so you guys won't get lost so uh, this was the final render that we were able to achieve so this is 3k obviously we, we can crank up those details but then this was the final render um, so it was rendered in Maya for Arnold and like the ZBrush one, like the final scope that we we got in ZBrush was was this guy. Like this was what we we ended up with in ZBrush with with all the uh, fine details and the wrinkles so forth. And then um, these are just few of the renders. As you can see, some close up of the fur, uh, like that. And then some of these guys are so just test renders. Uh, uh, as you see, guys, as I told, like the eyes are very, very crucial. So, so we were very careful with that, and it helps solve everything. And then some of the other angles, we we'll see facing that side, and also the top view. As you can see like that so um thank you again for your time and just lastly i i just want to ask from you guys um what like what should i teach next um i just want to get from you guys so just comment down on the section below uh which subject should i teach or which animal or which whatsoever uh we 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 just want to know from you guys uh, like that so and and again thank you guys i'm made from anatomy and hope to see you soon peace out